morning, people. Chad here at the Hidden Spring Farm. Welcome to another episode of Chronicles of Farm Say Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. It's going to be a fun day again on the farm. It's always fun. Lots of chores. Chores turn to fun. Love it. Just saw some turkeys out in the field again. I haven't seen them for a few days. But uh, they're around. They're just foraging for food, I guess, before winter. Yeah, I continue working on my monster of a duck house structure. That's just a monumental structure. So I continue working on that run. Um, I'm doing the hardware cloth and I put some planks on the wood. It turns out that I don't have enough hardware cloth to do the roof. So I had to decide to put just some wood planks, which actually turns out nice because it gives it some nice shade in there. Of course we take care of the duck chores, we take care of the chicken chores, take care of all the other chores, getting the house ready. We have a guest in the farmhouse so got to get that ready to go. Got to chop up some firewood for the people that are coming over. Play with Molly a little bit. Uh, you know I feel a little bit bad. I've been kind of not, not neglecting. I give her playtime every day but not as much playtime as I, I think I should. She really wants to play all the time. She's a pup. She's only four months old. She's a pup, so she really wants to play. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and take care of that right now. Click that subscribe button. Come on. You know, if you like what we're doing here at the Hidden Spring Farm, you're interested to see how it all ends up, you know, subscribe we'd really appreciate it that's a beautiful time of year beautiful anyways let's get into it people I gotta get to work got to get to work Molly come I'm gonna give you a biscuit being a good girl sit good girl Some of them are broken. Some of them are broken. There you go. Hey guys, so I'm just over here by this uh, duck run. Been working on it the past few days. You can see I got all the hardware cloth done. I got the little door done. I put a door in here so that I can access the duck door. You know, in case I want to lock them in there. So that's, that's that. Molly's here with me. She's just chilling out. Got all the hardware cloth done on both sides of the run. This is, this is a 30 foot run. And the hardware cloth is done on both sides. Got the door in. I put the door right in the center. I got a, a lock on the outside but I didn't put a lock on the inside yet, but I think I'm gonna put a lock on the inside so that, you know, I mean, if, if I'm in here, I wanna be able to lock it so that nothing can get out. Not that the ducks are rough and tumbling, but you know. So, I'm running out of hardware cloth. I was gonna put hardware cloth all along the roof, but I decided instead to just put some fence boards um, because I, I could get my hands on a little bit of fence boards. They're just five foot. I wanted eight foot. But um, it's pretty solid. You know, look at it. It's like I can't shake it. It's like it's pretty good. Um, I still have to, you know, put like a wood up there. You see how I got all the wood over there? So that needs to be stapled from the outside to help make it stronger. Once I put all these woods on, I'll put more planks on top. I don't even know if I have enough planks, but uh, I'm gonna keep going until I'm done. So that's what I'm gonna work on this morning. Hopefully I can get this done today. 
because I need to get working on a few other things. I need to still do the other side of the shingling. I need to do the front cedar shingles on the front wall. I still need to do some uh, lighting because I don't want, if ever I have to come out here when it's dark here in Ontario uh, in the winter time, it gets dark around 4.30. Um, so I don't ever want to be back here. I want the ability to turn a light on if I need to and I'm going to run some uh, some lining when I do the trenching for the wiring. I'm going to also add some security wiring in there. I'll probably, I don't know what I'll do, maybe somewhere up there I'll put a camera, but it's not focusing on the door though. So I'm not 100% sure what I'll do. Maybe I'll put the camera over there focusing on this way and it'll basically be able to see this whole area you know if there's any if there's any fox or any other kind of animal that's trying to get in I'm just fitting my fat body up here <laughs> so this is the top I'm just putting these planks like I said earlier and uh, it's actually not working out too bad it's uh, it's a lot easier first of all to, to use these planks than it is to use the hardware cloth um, and hardware cloth a lot more expensive so this is a lot more economical and actually it gives a little bit of shade underneath so when the Sun is full blast it'll give them a little bit of shade which I didn't even think about until now after the fact because I've been working down there and it's shady anyways I'm liking it so far what do you think I'm done the hardware cloth, yahoo! Oh gosh, I just have to staple a little bit on the top there on the other side. But before I do that, before I bring my compressor over to the other side, because it's a long way around, I need to move my extension cord. I need to figure out this uh, ramp for the ducks. And I don't know how to figure out the angle really. I'm just gonna use a piece of wood like this maybe not sticky it's sticky that was sticky okay maybe not okay let's try this again that's not so sticky now so I'm gonna move this out of the way get this door going come on door stay Stay. Okay. So, I guess the way I figure it is if I check the angle of how long I want it to go, then I'll know. So, how long of a ramp do I want? Maybe like that? Does that look good enough? Maybe that's a little steep. Maybe a little bit more drawn out. Yeah. Yeah. How do I figure this out? How do I figure out that angle? I need one of those angle finders. You know, those. What is it a protractor? How do I figure out that angle right there? Wait, I got an idea. What I'm gonna do is get an eight foot two by four and cut it on an angle so that it can be mounted like this onto this wood, but it needs to be 
at the right angle here. So, how to figure out that angle? What if I just go like that and then mark it from underneath? So then that's the angle. And then I can just, once that's on there, I can screw that on. This thing sits on top, put a couple of pieces, plank, 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 and I'm done. I hope it's that simple. You can see I've taken my 2x4 and I've ripped it on an angle. I don't know what the angle is, I just made it. And uh, I'm making these boards 45 inches. So by the time this gets put like this, it's not that bad there. I don't need to worry too much about it. And it's going to be like this all the way across. I'll put something underneath to brace it. And that's not too steep for the ducks for them to go up and down, I think. And this is a big play area for the ducks, so it's looking awesome. finish this run. This was a piece of work. I had never done anything like this before. But it was it was tiring but fun. A lot of work. Holy smokes. But anyways, take a look people. Look how that looks. That's the ramp. I put these cross beams on just in case it's a little slick when it's wet or if there's snow on it. And that should be fine for the ducks to go up. I mean it's strong enough for me to go up. Here's the duck door leading into here. Just got a couple windows. Uh, mainly the windows are for me to let the daylight in so I don't need to use so much electricity for the lights. I got a little bit of uh, trench work to do because I want to put a drain in. That's why I didn't install the pool yet, but honestly it's getting pretty close to snow. So I don't think I'm going to be using this. I'll probably just you know, right here, put like some boards and then boards that way just so that the ducks can pass through but they can't go into the pool because I'll end up probably covering it with plywood or something. But I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is pretty darn amazing. Pretty darn amazing. So honestly, it's getting close that this is done and I'll have to move those ducks. Like I got a staple up on top probably tomorrow. I still have to make a side door for my clean out right here. I haven't yet made a door. I've just been using it to store my tools and whatnot. And I want to put some self stick vinyl tile on the floor in there. I hope I have enough to do the whole floor. And don't forget I still have to put shingles on this side. I haven't done that yet. And I have to make a door for the front. I haven't made a door. And on the upper part of the front entrance, I got these uh, cedar shingles, these things. So I still have to do that. So I feel like I'm getting close to being done. My darling's been cleaning up 
the farmhouse. We've stayed in here for a few days while I'm working on this duck hut, but uh, we have a three day booking tomorrow and they're supposed to check in at three. So I like giving people a tour on my mule when they first get here, especially when they're booking more than one day. Hi Molly. How are ya? How are ya? Um, so yeah, so she's just, you know, making the beds up and the house is not dirty anyway because we've stayed in there. But she's just making the beds up and I'll be here tomorrow working on my duck house waiting for that customer at 3 o'clock. I can hear those quacksters from here. It's early morning still. The sun just came up. I'm gonna go let them out into their pen though. Morning ducks. Morning ducks. You want to get out of the hut? Man, these roosters are really starting to crawl. Especially that big guy right there. Look at that guy. Look at his look at his comb. And this little thing that's under here. I think it's called a waddle. Waddle? Coddle? Anyway, I still gotta Google that to see what the hell it is. But uh, we got far too many roosters. Down here at my duck run. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished everything on this side. I've already stapled all up at the top there, but I got this problem. That needs to get cut off there because I'm gonna be putting like a security apron, I'm calling it, but it's just a wire that kind of sticks out to prevent any predators from digging underneath and getting to my ducks.
See that? That worked out pretty good. Just give it a little smack with the hammer. Nice, pretty clean cut. I mean, I can't really complain. It's fine, it's gonna get covered in soil anyways, so. Just inside the duck hut here, and I'm just putting a, a little piece of hardware cloth over where I wanna keep the ducks water so they won't be making a huge mess. And not only a huge mess, but it's gonna it's gonna cost me money over time by having to keep change out changing out the the plywood. So I got this hardware cloth put on here. It's pretty rigid. You know, I, I, I got this metal, the middle beam right here. That's where the, the it's gonna hold the brunt of the weight for the water. And the water, anything that spills immediately in the surrounding here, it's just gonna fall to the ground. But uh, it's, it might be a little sharp for the ducks, you know, on the edge. So I'll end up putting a nice little frame trim around the edge, but I wanna, do my vinyl flooring first and the vinyl flooring is going to come right up to that. Each day, each day that I work on this duck hut, a little bit more is getting done. Now today I did a lot. I finished that side door. I finished stapling all of the upper hardware cloth. I finished this door. I installed a couple of lights. Still have to get them wired though. I got an outlet installed here, which still needs to be wired. And uh, it's all looking good. So really, all I gotta do left is one, finish these shingles right here. Two, put my self-sticky vinyl tiles down inside. And three, finish up the electrical. And then I feel like we're done. Oh no, I gotta do, I gotta do that up there, the cedar shingles. And I have to do the, the, the party pool, but I don't think I'm gonna to get to the party pool because it's gonna to get too cold soon and won't, I won't be able to use it anyway. So, all in a day's work. Okay, Molly, one, two, three, go!
Stay. 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 Okay, run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Quick, 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 quick. Good girl. One, two, three, go. Go. There you go. Go, go, go. Oh, you're thirsty. <laughs> <laughs>